Welcome to CTC TV. I'm Bruce Fassbinder. This month, we send our students off to spring break with a spring break safety event. Take a look at the new CTC student celebrities. Check out job opportunities with the upcoming annual CTC career fair. Get updates from our fine arts, culinary arts, and math departments, and see how CTC is helping our military veterans. All this and much more on CTC TV. Wherever you are in the world, Central Texas College can turn your potential into success. Our students are active duty military and veterans. They're looking to move up in the ranks and into the workforce, overseas and stateside. CTC awards credit for military service and offers classes online and on military installations. Start your new mission at Central Texas College for students of the real world. The Central Texas College Speech and Debate Team competed in the 26th Annual Regional Speech and Debate Championships held in Houston last month. CTC placed third out of the 29 teams from the Central States region of South Dakota, Missouri, Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Texas. Individually, freshman Joseph Barr placed fifth in debate and second in extemporaneous speaking. Fellow freshman Nathan Van Zanten placed fourth in communication analysis. Another freshman, Jeff Jackson, took seventh in poetry, and sophomore Robert Borntrager was sixth in debate and seventh in impromptu speaking. The team will now compete in the National Speech and Debate Championships in Nashville, Tennessee. The CTC Center for African American Studies and Research held its annual Black History Month lecture series at the end of February at Warrior Hall on the campus of Texas A&M University, Central Texas. The African American Experience, an invitation to explore, featured speakers Roscoe Harrison, host of KNCT's Focus Program, and Aya Anelli, lawyer and author of the book, Reclaim Your Life. The two shared their stories, highlighting the African-American contributions to Central Texas culture. Anelli's presentation featured African-American history dating back to 1620 to the present day, while Harrison shared his experiences as the first African-American anchorman at a Central Texas news station. As part of the CTC Foundation, the Center for African American Studies and Research also provides two scholarships each year to deserving students and is responsible for the expansion of more than 300 African American books to the collection at the Ovita Culp Hobby Memorial Library, which provides CTC students public access to this rich history. The CTC Fine Arts Department announced four students from its fall production, Water by the Spoonful, were selected to attend the Regional Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival held recently at San Angelo State University. Representing CTC were Channing Bell, Angelica Concepcion, Terrence Moon, and Zachary Verdugo. The foursome participated with thousands of students from regional colleges and four-year universities in Texas, New Mexico, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Oklahoma, all nominated by festival representatives based on recent school productions. Regional festival productions are judged by a panel of three judges who, in consultation with the Kennedy Center Artistic Director, select four to six of the best and most diverse regional festival productions to be showcased in the spring at the annual non-competitive National Festival to be held at the JFK Performing Arts Center in Washington, D.C. later this spring. The four CTC actors were part of the cast of last semester's drama production of the 2012 Pulitzer Prize winning play, Water by the Spoonful. The play depicts the everyday struggles of several people tied together, some by family, others through their addictions. Bell played the main character, Elliot Ortiz, a young Iraq war veteran dealing with a termini terminally ill parent, a nowhere job at a sandwich shop, and a burgeoning career in modeling, all intensified by recurring memories and ghostly hallucinations of a man he killed during the war. Verdugo played the role of Professor Amon, while Moon was the character Shoots and Ladders, and Concepcion played the role of Haiku Mom. Bell and Moon were selected as nominees for the Irene Ryan Acting Scholarships, which provide recognition, honor, and financial assistance to outstanding student performers wishing to pursue their further education. Verduga and Concepcion served as scene partners. The Irene Fi Ryan Foundation awards 16 regional and two national scholarships annually. 16 of the awards consist of a $500 scholarship for each regional representative. With funding and administrative support from the Kennedy Center, the regional festivals showcase the finest of each region's entered productions, including new and student-written plays. 
In addition to the acting and playwriting competitions, CTC students also attended workshops on performance, movement, stage combat, and voice, as well as attending numerous productions and original works from around the nation. The Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival is a national theater program involving 18,000 students from colleges and universities nationwide, which has served as a catalyst in improving the quality of college-based theater in the United States. It has grown into a network of more than 600 academic institutions throughout the country where theater departments and student artists showcase their work and receive outside assessment by the Kennedy Center respondents. The Risk Management Department will host its annual Employee Wellness Fair on Wednesday, April 4th in the Anderson Campus Center from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event, co-hosted by Seton Medical Center, will feature a variety of health screenings as well as information on overall fitness and wellness. The event has grown uh, since I've been here and even in the past I've heard great things about it. So the event is continuing to expand. Um, each year we, we continue to increase our funds that's been raised from the silent auction item that's being sold and donated by different vendors. Uh, again, those funds goes to the risk management scholarships uh, which help students who are in need and assistance um, when they're trying to complete um, their degree. Last year, nearly 70 health care providers and vendors were on hand conducting free screenings and disseminating information on cardiac care, skin care, weight control, mental health, preventative health care, and other wellness issues. Other attractions of the Wellness Fair include a variety of exercise and physical activity demonstrations, massage therapy, cosmetic makeovers, and planning for financial wellness. Door prizes will be given away throughout the fair and a silent auction featuring many great items will also be held. Proceeds from the silent auction benefit the CTC Foundation Scholarship Program. Last year, more than $1,500 was contributed to the scholarship fund. The CTC Wellness Fair is free and open to all students, employees, and the public. The Psi Beta Psychology National Honor Society will hold its annual psychology symposium on Wednesday, April 11th in the Anderson Campus Center. This year's topic is 21st Century Slavery and features guest speaker Victoria Walker from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The symposium opens with Psi Beta members discussing their research on the crime of sex trafficking. Representatives from a variety of support groups will also be available, providing informational handouts and assisting students who may have more personal questions. A rescue group from Georgetown will also provide a display and field questions from audience members. The symposium is scheduled for 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. and is free and open to the public. CTC hosted the 6th Annual P-20 Council Career Day for area high school students last month. More than 400 high school students and some parents from area school districts including Coppers Cove, Crossroads, Gatesville, Colleen, Pretty, and Salado visited various academic departments to learn about career possibilities in numerous academic, vocational, and technical fields. Students could choose their area of interest in subjects ranging from nursing, computer science, engineering, to child development and teacher education. Many presentations featured hands-on learning experiences for the students. Those choosing the emergency medical technology field participated in a mock disaster exercise that required students to work together as teams as emergency management personnel responding to a crisis situation. Those interested in culinary arts prepared a meal of chicken alfredo from scratch as they learned the fundamentals of making cream sauces, sautéing chicken, steaming broccoli, and making garlic bread. Those looking for careers in kinesiology learned about first aid application, coaching fundamentals, and participated in interactive self-defense lessons. And students hoping to land a career in telecommunications were given on-hands training in video and audio production for television and radio. The Central Texas P-20 Regional Council is a school-to-work initiative that builds connections from local public education to the local workforce. The initiative is designed for education partners and businesses within the Central Texas area to collaborate with the purpose of connecting students to college and career readiness. P-20 creates the opportunity for higher educational institutions, local school districts, and businesses to come together and talk about workforce skills and what the kids need for the future to be employable and equipped with the necessary skills for the vocation of their choice. Several Central Texas College art students recently won awards at the Temple Cultural Activity Center Art Competition. Drew Smith earned third place honors in the Student 3D Sculpture Division, while Linda Nicely, Barry Rodriguez, Judy Winkler, and Jan Swan won first place for their collaborative efforts to create a large ceramic sculptural vessel. 
The student works are currently on display through March 23rd in the Art Competition Exhibit at the Cultural Activity Center in Temple. These winning students will also be a part of the CTC Fine Arts Department's Spring Student Art Show April 17th through May 3rd. Student artists in the visual art classes from the fall 2017 semester to this current spring semester are eligible to enter up to three pieces of their work and compete for a cash prize. The categories for entering are original paintings, photography, ceramics, sculpture, drawings, prints, and jewelry. To enter, students should pick up an ID card entry form for each entry in the Fine Arts Building 112, Room 105. All entries should be brought back to that same room between the hours of 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. on April 1st and 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on April 2nd. This year's juror is Mark Anderson, Chairman of the Fine Arts Department at Baylor University. Prior to the exhibit opening, a reception will be held Monday, April 16th from 12 to 1 p.m. and winners of the art show will be announced at that time. The exhibit and reception will be free and open to the public. Central Texas College students got an early safety message before heading off to spring break as the Student Assistance Program and Substance Abuse Resource Center hosted its annual Spring Break Safety Awareness event. Following presentations on the dangers of drinking and driving as well as texting and driving, students participated in several activities promoting the safety message, Don't Drink and Drive. The Texas Red Program provided a DUI simulator to highlight the dangers of drinking and driving as students used impairment or drunk goggles to maneuver an automobile much like a video arcade game. CTC Campus Police also set up a mock field sobriety test and other demonstrations using night vision and day vision impairment goggles. In addition to the hands-on demonstrations, representatives from numerous healthcare agencies were on hand to provide students safety information and resources for assistance with substance abuse issues. Anyone who would like informational brochures about alcohol and drug abuse or mental health issues can stop by the CTC Substance Abuse Resource Center in Building 158. The center also offers free and confidential counseling. For more information, call 254-526-1166. The Central Texas College Foundation reminds students the deadline to apply for scholarships is 11.59 p.m. on March 31st. The scholarships will be awarded near the end of this spring semester and can be used during the fall 2018 and spring 2019 semesters. All applicants must have applied to CTC and have a CTC student ID number to apply for a scholarship. Applicants will also need to use the email address they have on file with CTC and must create a password in order to access the application. Applicants can visit ctcd.academicworks.com to view a complete list of available scholarships. The online application can be accessed by clicking the sign up link at the top of the web page. Students only need to fill out one online application one time to be eligible for all available scholarship awards for which they qualify. The CTC Foundation offers approximately 170 need-based and academic merit scholarships and provides almost 150 awards to competitively selected students every year. For more information about any available CTC scholarships, contact the Foundation Office at 254-526-1662. Several CTC students were given the celebrity treatment of hair, makeup, and wardrobe as they were selected to be a part of the school's upcoming advertising and marketing campaign. Nearly 30 students representing numerous programs of study were photographed during the two-day photo shoot and will be featured in CTC's next round of billboards, web ads, and other promotional advertising. CTC collaborated with Houston ad agency Richard Carlberg to create the new campaign, which will highlight CTC's hands-on real-world approach to education. Students in the music, culinary arts, industrial technology programs, as well as students in the nursing, EMT, aviation science, business administration, science, agriculture, and other programs were selected from an online survey which was open to all students. Also included in the photo shoot were four soldiers participating in the first ever CTC Fort Hood Emergency Medical Technology Articulation Program. Richards Carlberg won a National Gold Addy Award for CTC's current Students of the Real World campaign. And the students' photographs will be used in an extension of that award-winning campaign. Registration for the summer 2018 semester will open online Monday, April 9th. Returning students and those who have completed the admissions process and have a degree plan on file can then register for Summer 1 and Summer 2 classes on WebAdvisor through May 25th. The first day of class is Monday, June 4th. A late registration period will be held June 4th through 7th. Any student needing to complete academic advisement or change degree plans should do so now so they can register without delays. 
Academic advisement can be completed through the Guidance and Counseling Office located at Student Services in Building 119. Once new students have completed advisement and have filed a degree plan, they can register online through WebAdvisor. Students registering for Summer 1 Distance Learning or online classes starting June 4th can register through May 31st, and registration for Summer 2 online classes is open through July 5th. These classes start July 9th. There is no late registration period for online classes. CTC's Evening and Weekend College Program is offering a variety of summer schedules, start dates in June and July. The class schedule is available on WebAdvisor or students can visit the Evening and Weekend College office located in the campus library. At the CTC Fort Hood campus, registration is underway now for the Summer 1 semester, which is May 14th through July 11th. The Summer 2 mini semester is July 16th through August 3rd. Classes at the Fort Hood campus are open to both active duty military and civilians. Active duty military should use the Go Army Ed portal to register, and dependents and civilians can register at the CTC website using WebAdvisor. And just like at the Central Campus, students must have a degree plan on file before registering. Fort Hood campus students can meet with a counselor on site at Building 3201, located at 72nd Street and 761st Tank Battalion Avenue. Also in the culinary world, several students in the Wedding Cakes class recently participated in the That Takes the Cake competition in Austin. Jared Foster won first place and a gold medal in the Culinary Student Multi-Tier Special Occasion Novelty category for his elegant Sweet 16 cake. Christina Paddock Chapel took home a silver medal in the category of Culinary Student Multi-Tier Special Occasion Novelty Cake for her Garden with Hummingbirds cake. And Raphael Curry earned second place in the, both the Culinary Student Single Tier Special Occasion category and the Special Technique category. He also won bronze medals in the Sculpting and Painting category for his Messy Lab and Ricky and Marty creations. At the end of the spring semester, the public is invited to see the Wedding Cake students' masterpieces as they create cakes for their final exam. The cakes will be on display and open for tasting and judging the last week of the semester. The CTC Mathematics Department will host its annual Math Appreciation Day event on Thursday, April 12th in the Anderson Campus Center from 6 to 8 p.m. This year's guest speaker is David Glasser, data scientist at Newton, who will present how math helps us understand the brain. Founded in 2008, Newton is a company offering integrated adaptive courseware for colleges and universities and was recently named one of the top 10 most innovative companies in education. Throughout the day, the math department will offer a variety of games and activities for students, including scavenger hunts, trivia contests, prom and programming challenges. The CTC Math Appreciation Day event is part of Mathematics Awareness Month, which has been held each year in April since 1986 to increase public understanding of and appreciation for mathematics. The CTC Math Appreciation Day is free and open to the public. The Central Texas College Vet Success Center on campus and Veterans Services Department hosted a Veterans Benefits Expo in the Anderson Campus Center the first week of March. Free and open to the public, the expo served as an outlet for military veterans and family members to meet representatives from numerous organizations and obtain information on how to make the best use of veterans benefits. Nearly 30 organizations serving military veterans were on hand to provide information on education benefits, health care services, disability compensation, and employment services. Other resources and material available at the Expo included information on home and land loans, counseling services, and legal services. The goal of the Veterans Expo was to help military veterans receive the most accurate and up-to-date information regarding their benefits and ensure they understand how to apply and gain the maximum assistance from these benefits. Some of the participating organizations included the Texas Veterans Commission Employment Services for Veterans, Operation Phantom Support Incorporated, the Department of Veterans Assistance, Vet Center, the Department of Veterans Affairs, AW2 Wounded Warriors on Fort Hood, the Texas Veterans Commission Family Career Advisor, and Star Group, and Veterans Helping Veterans. The CTC Vet Success Center on campus has two counselors to assist with VA education benefits, including the Montgomery GI Bill, Chapter 30, Post-9-11 GI Bill, Chapter 33, and other VA and non-VA educational benefits. The counselors can also assist veterans in applying for and maximizing VA education benefits. And in addition, the CTC counselors offer other assistance such as applying for vocational rehabilitation and employment, Chapter 31 services, transition support services, 
vocational exploration, career counseling, information on college credit for military experience and training, and job placement assistance. For more information, contact the CTC Vet Success Center at 254-501-3094. The 10th Annual CTC Foundation Spring Fashion Show is set for Friday, April 6th at the Colleen Civic and Conference Center. Usually a lunchtime affair, this will be the first time the event is held at night starting at 6 p.m. The fashion show will showcase the designs of the season from local clothing establishments and all proceeds from the event benefit the CTC Nursing Scholarship Program. Individual tickets for open seating are $75 each. VIP tickets, which include dinner and cocktail reception, are $100 each. Guests can also reserve a table of eight for $600. Reserve sponsor tables are $850 and include VIP tickets for eight. The premier table sponsorship is $1,000 and includes a table by the runway and VIP tickets for eight. Many valuable door prizes will be given away, including high-end fashion accessories, gift certificates, and spa packages. To purchase tickets or a sponsor package, contact the CTC Foundation office at 254-526-1662. In other foundation news, the 26th annual CTC Foundation Golf Tournament will be held at the Courses at Clear Creek on Fort Hood Friday, April 20th. The four-person scramble tournament starts at 9 a.m. Registration opens at 8 a.m. Registration fees are $80 per person or $320 per team. The fee includes a golf cart, green fee, tournament fee, two drinks on course, and lunch. Proceeds from the tournament benefit the CTC Foundation Scholarship Program. Golfers can call the Foundation office to sign up, and that number once again is 254-526-1662. The Central Texas College Career Center will hold its annual Career Fair and Internship Expo on Wednesday, April 18th in the Anderson Campus Center. Numerous companies and businesses in the fields of information technology, healthcare, hospitality, protective services, and more will offer part-time, full-time, and internship positions to interested students. The main goal of the career fair is to provide a place where students and alumni, as well as the community, can come and interact with um, members of industry. So we have several different companies that come and offer information about their industry, their particular company, as well as the job opportunities that they have available. Some of the businesses to be represented at this year's career fair are the Dallas Police Department, TD Industries, the Coppers Cove and Clean Independent School Districts, Teleperformance, and first-time vendor American Queen Steamboat Company out of Indiana, which is offering entertainment and service positions on its riverboat cruises. Students are encouraged to come prepared by dressing for success, bringing multiple copies of their resume, and being ready to discuss work skills with potential employers. In addition to the career fair, the CTC Career Center offers numerous employment assistance services to students year-round in all phases of the career planning and job search process. Um, we have several different resources. We kind of get an idea of what it is um, that they need assistance with. And then depending on what that is, we may either give them a resource or provide them information with the registration process for the online job board or set them up for an appointment. The things that we do by appointment are the mock interviews, the career counseling, and then the resumes. Through the Career Center, students and CTC alumni have access to various resources and networks to search for exclusive job listings. They can create their own online resume, review expert job tips from more than 100 free, free career videos, and obtain free career advice documents. These services are available to CTC students and alumni across the globe. Students needing assistance in the hunt for employment or discovering a career path can visit the CTC Career Center in Building 111, Room 208. Once again, the CTC Career Fair is open to the public on Wednesday, April 18th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Anderson Campus Center. And for more information, call 254-526-1106. The CTC Student Nursing Association will host a blood drive on Tuesday, March 20th. The Carter Blood Care Bus will be parked at the CTC Nursing Center of Building 155 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., accepting donations from the public. Anyone interested in donating blood should drink plenty of water starting that day before your donation, eat a hearty meal the night before your donation, and get plenty of rest. Also, eat a well-balanced, low-fat meal two to four hours prior to donation. Donors should also drink lots of water or juice throughout the day after donating blood and limit caffeine intake. Avoid alcoholic beverages for 12 hours before and after donating. All donors, donors must present a valid photo ID at the time of donation. 
IDs must be issued by states such as a driver's license, their school ID, or a U.S. government ID such as a passport, military ID, resident alien ID, green card, or work visa. Donors must be at least 16 years of age, and 16-year-olds must have written parental consent. They also must be in good general health and weigh a minimum of 110 pounds. To reserve a donation time slot for the CTC Student Nurse Association Blood Drive, email CTCSNA Event Coordinator at gmail.com. Before we close, here are some upcoming events of interest. Thanks for joining us on CTC-TV. I'm Bruce Fassbinder. See you next month with more news and events around campus.